So I want to talk about what I think is the right attitude to have if you're going to own a boat, especially if you're going to own a wooden boat, uh, but any boat really. Um, you know, since I found my transom was rotted and started digging it out, you know, everybody here at the boat yard is like, oh my God, what are you gonna do? It's crazy, you know, I mean, I'll show you. It's, uh, you know, I got I got a ground full of transom, you know what I mean? There's, there's the pile so far. And that's what it looks like. So, you know, not necessarily the prettiest thing, but the fact is, somebody asked me, they just came up and asked, and they said, you know, what are you going to do? And I said, oh, I'm going to fix it. And she was just kind of like, you're going to fix it. And I'm like, well, well, yeah. <laughs> you know, you have to have that, that mentality. If you, if you don't, don't own a boat, I guess, unless you're rich, you know, and you could just go, oh, well, there's a little rot and pay me to come and fix it. I mean, I, I like those guys too, but even they have the right attitude, you know, well, we'll just fix it. It's amazing sitting here in the boat yard, how this boat yard, everyone I've ever been in, any marina I've ever been in, how many boats are here for years. You know, and I see guys here for hardly any reason, you know, I mean, a little problem with their engine or their rudder's broken or, you know, a, there was a wood boat here at the yard. It's a beautiful 1911 Dickies yacht. Um, and the guy that has it, he's kind of got an excuse. He's 92 years old and he, he owned it. He's owned it for, geez, 60 years or something. And, uh, you know, it's laid up on the hard right now and it probably will be for a while. But I mean, it's dried out to the point where the deadwood's cracked and everything really, really bad, but he could fix it or somebody could fix it for him. But I mean, so many people, they just don't, you know, they just get stuck and they get stuck in the yard and they, they freak out and, you know, everybody's like, oh man, aren't you upset? Or boy, I bet you're bummed. And I'm like, not really, it's a boat. I mean, you know, it's gotta be fixed. So that, if you go into it thinking whatever happens, you're going to fix it, you know, then that's, that's the way it should be. You know, you have to, you have to think this before you find anything wrong. You have to think to yourself, okay, whatever I find and, and whatever I find, I'm like, all right, well, I'll fix that. You know, and, and yeah, that, that list gets big and, and it becomes a mountain and then you're like, well, Hell, I don't know, you know, if I can squeeze any more blood out of this old turnip to get it, but it's all about the mentality. You know, you can get the money, you can get the skill, you can learn the skill. If you don't have the mindset of, okay, I'll fix it, then just, then just give up. You know, if any little thing or any big thing is going to be this world-ending setback, well, then just, just forget it, you know. I, I don't want to be on too much of a soapbox, but, you know, everybody today has been coming up while I'm chipping away and ripping my transom off, and they're just, like, freaking out, like it's the end of the world, you know, and, you know, I'm covered, just covered in dirt and muck, and I'm my watch, <laughs> you know, but I don't, I guess that's, some people make the mistake of buying a boat to go out and sail it. You know, that's not the point of buying a boat. The whole point is to, to work on it forever until you die. <laughs> it's, you know, you don't buy a boat to go sail and have fun. I mean, who does that? What kind of people are missing out, you know? <laughs> but, uh, all right, well, I guess I'm, I guess I'm done with my soapbox, but it's just, you know, it's, you have to think about it that way. And, and whenever you run into anything, just think, eh, okay, I'll fix it. And, and that's that. And then, do it, you know, and keep doing it. But, all right, that's all. <laughs>